Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, seeing as my last um, football show did quite well uh, and uh, quite a lot of feedback. Sorry about the screaming in the background, that's my son playing on his uh, on his computer game. If you did catch it, if you did hear that, sound like him being, <laughs> sound like him being butchered, but it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. So, uh, every now and again, uh, like I said in the last shirt video I did, I do come across a uh, shed load of uh, football shirts and I do pick them up because my lad likes to have them and he collects them. And we do like the European shirts and the different kinds of things. So, I went on to uh, a local jumbo sale that's uh, um, just a, about five or ten minute walk from my house. Once a month in a little Catholic church. Uh, back roomy kind of thing which I don't like to think about but uh, um, in there is like masses and masses of piles of clothes and things like that and what you do you shift through it all and then you find some bits you fill your arms up and then you take it over to these old deers that are in there and you pay peanuts for stuff like clothes virtually giving them away so I picked all this lot up and this entire lot that you see here the entire spend that I had was £12 in total uh, for all the parts. Um, it was £10 for all the, the one set of shirts and then there's one shirt that I paid £2 for at the local um, uh, charity shop that was literally as I came outside, I went across the road, went to the charity shop and I picked a shirt up. The shirt I picked up for £2, uh, which is separate, is this England train shirt, which is the one when they were sponsored by Nationwide on the front. And I do have the blue version of this, which is a really nice shirt. But it's uh, really well made, made by Umbro. Uh, still got all the uh, printing stuff on the back. The nationwide bits are tiny, a little bit worn on the front, a little bit cracked. But apart from that, it's a nice shirt. Bit of retro goodness. Happy days. I'm going to show you something else uh, uh, last off as well, which is a little bit unusual. Uh, but we'll, we'll come to that as, as a last thing. So. From the um, uh, jumble sale, uh, one of the ones that I threw in, which is probably one of the not so decent shirts because of the condition, is uh, an Ajax shirt made by Adidas. Now, the um, as you can see on the front, the actual printing part is getting a little bit worn, but apart from that, it's in fair condition. It's just, uh, I mean, it'll be okay as, as wearing it's, it's got a bit of age to it so it's to be expected on these kind of things but it's a nice it's a nice looking shirt and i do like an ajax shirt classic red and white with the uh, stars above the badge uh also from them which is a bit, a bit more of a common shirt and uh, i picked it up because i was there at the time is a psg shirt which is rather nice made by nike with the nice badge on the front uh, printed on the back is um, Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic, Zlatan, as I like to call him. Now, Abramovic, that's the ex owner of uh, Chelsea. Uh, Ibrahimovic, one of the greatest footballers of all time. Number 10. Nice, nice, good shirt. Also, from the uh, uh, Jumble Sale, in fact, all the rest of them are from the Jumble Sale, I'm not going to keep saying that was a Bayern Munich shirt. Bit of an older one, as you can see by the stars on the uh, uh, on the actual badge. It's, uh, I think they've won a few stars more since then. Uh, printed on the back is uh, Muller, number 25. Still got all the Bundesliga badge on the, on the sleeve. All got the label on it still. All nice, all good stuff. I do like the printing on the back of this thing as well, because the Bayern Munich uh, is actually printed into the uh, numbers on the on there as well as on the top section, which is nice. It's a nice grey colour, like a silver grey colour. Lovely. Also, <clears throat> same place. Juve shirt. Juventus with the uh, three stars above them for the three European uh, uh, championships that they've won, with uh, Di Valla, Di, uh, Di, he's Argentinian, isn't he? Di Valla, Di Valla number 21 on the back. Nice looking shirt, very, very nice. 
Oh. And speaking of him, um, also found at the same time an Argentina shirt. Very nice, Adidas, lovely printing on this thing. Bit of, a, bit of the old enemy, but it is what it is. Uh, and on the back of it is 21 Dybala. Dybala. Nice shirt, nice uh, 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 labels on the, on the actual sleeves. This one was from 2018 from the Russian World Cup. So yeah, very nice. Now, what I'm going to do before I do the last shirt, I'm going to show you something else which I found, which when I picked it up, I couldn't work out what it was. So I just picked it up and I thought, it's in with the rest of the bundle. So I literally paid pennies for it. Was this? Now, stop and guess if you know exactly what that is. Because I didn't know what it was until I actually had a look at the back. And it's got this uh, little logo on there. That is a international hockey shirt. And it just so happens it's the England team and it's fully signed by all the England players. I don't know who these England players are, to be honest, because I'm not a massive follower of hockey unless it's in the Olympics. And then I do uh, watch some of it. But there might be some really famous um, people that some people know from being hockey fans. I thought that was quite nice. I put it, uh, just put it in with all the rest of it. So, yeah, a lot of football shirts and a hockey shirt. And one more shirt. So, yesterday, uh, if you um, follow football, was uh, uh, a bit of a momentous day for football because um, Germany uh, went out of the Euros and it was the last ever game for an absolute footballing legend who was Tony Cruz. Cruz, what do you want to call him? Uh, so, yeah, I found a... Uh, German football shirt with his name on the back, which is a uh, quite. You can't really make this stuff up, can you? Last ever time, I've never ever found a shirt with his name on before. And on the last day, on the day that he actually uh, stops uh, playing football for his country, representing, he stopped playing football altogether. He will never play a game of football ever again, according to um, uh, what he said. Uh, I found his shirt. I found his shirt in the jumble sale, which I thought was uh, rather nice and fitting. Uh, Made by Adidas, size medium, all in good condition. All the labels on its uh, shoulder, on the thing, still lovely. Really, really nice. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I thought that was a, a not a bad little uh, haul to uh... You alright then? Am I on? You on, slightly, for a tiny bit. So, um, tell us what you think below. Uh, and uh, if, if I find any more uh, football shirts, I keep getting told off by the wife for actually buying the football shirts, but if I find any more in the really good ones, I'll carry on buying them and do little videos on them. So uh, I'll see you all later.